Yes, Gawa. <laughs> this video will show how to resolve the most common problems encountered when performing a test move in MotionWorks IEC. These problems are, number one, the axis moves but not as expected. Number two, the axis enables but does not move, possibly due to over-travel inputs. Number three, an alarm is generated during the test move. And number four, a wiring or connection issue is preventing the move. For this example, my machine is the MP2300SIEC controller with two Mechatrolink servo axes. If test move is not moving the distance and speed expected, you want to go back and check the configuration tab and save while you're online and then under online reboot the controller. The most common reasons for an incorrect test move are either number one saving offline instead of online and number two not rebooting after the online save. Also realize that the target speed of the test move may not be mathematically possible given the distance and acceleration that you've entered. If when you click start the axis enables but it just doesn't move the most likely cause is the over travel condition otherwise known as limit switches. Over travel is not an alarm but they are digital inputs that allow or prohibit positive and negative motion. The over travel inputs by default are to be connected to normally closed proximity sensors at the end of a linear actuator in order to stop that load from reaching the mechanical limit. Over travel will be indicated on the Sigma 5 front panel as P and N for positive and negative motion prohibited. If you attempt a test move in the prohibited direction, the motor will enable but not move. Over travel input status can be monitored in the IO tab under input 5 indicators 0 and 1. You can see here I just have a switch connected to the over travel. If I turn that switch back on connected, that connects the over travel sensor. And if you want to disable the over travel feature, you can do so under the IO tab also. Positive over travel and negative over travel by setting the current value to 8 set signal off. If an alarm is generated during the test move, the data you've entered may be out of range or the units configured incorrectly. Overspeed or position error alarms often are the indicators for this problem and uh, you can see that the alarm axis has a, a red color. If you click on the alarm tab you can see this alarm. Now, if you're in the test move and the axis doesn't enable it may be because that axis does have an alarm and the axis may go offline as you see here in the tree. In this case you'll have to close and reopen the hardware configuration and connect again and go to that problem axis and troubleshoot the alarm under that alarm tab. Often you can just clear the alarm. Test move failure and alarm codes can be caused also by incorrect wiring such as loose Mechatrolink cables, disconnection of the motor cable, reversal or disconnection of the motor phases, U, V, and W, or disconnection of main power, L1, L2, and L3 of the Sigma 5 servo amplifier. Performing a test run, a jog, from within Yaskawa's free Sigma Win Plus software, which connects directly to the servo pack with the USB cable, is uh, definitely useful where you'd like to troubleshoot the wiring of the servo amplifier itself. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.